Coming right up is Media News number 137. It's an all DC Media News. And in it, we've got stories on Dark Knight. Some of the casting in that and some of the stuff that's going on in that. And we're going to talk a little bit about the new Batmobile they're going to have. Also, Wonder Woman casting news, Superman casting news. And the big story is about DC Nation and how it's coming to a TV screen near you. All that and more coming right up. Here at Alternate Reality, less is always more, because all new comics are always 15% off here at Alternate Reality. Every day for every one. Unlike other stores, I have knocked 15% off the cover price of every new comic that's ever walked out the door here, going all the way back to when I first opened in 1994. So why shop anywhere else when you can come down here and save 15% off every day for every one at Alternate Reality. It's time now for Media News with Comic Book Land and JR, now with half the calories of the regular news. Boys and girls, go back to your studies. Believe me, nothing in life is free. Media News, episode 137, Eagle Colon. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... It's time for Media News. That doesn't even hurt anymore. <laughs> it doesn't even hurt nah. anymore. And Media News is coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie, in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood, where, the, where the, every garbage can on the block is crystal clean, you can eat clear. Out of the bottom. Yes. You can eat out of them; they are so clean because the bums have been through and cleaned them all up. How do we know you can eat out of the bottom? Of them? <laughs> I've we seen plenty it. of bums We've doing watched it. them do it. We've watched them do it. <gasps> Alternate reality, all new comics, especially all DC comics. All you'll, of them. you'll find out why it's important in a second. Either fifteen percent off every day for everyone. Yeah, or fifteen percent for everyone. <laughs> Spell the comic book man. <laughs> e R E R E R. TV series on that one, I think. Yeah. Uh, First story we got up, you know, when Marvel when Marvel was bought by Disney, everyone said, oh, Disney's going to give Marvel a channel. And everyone everyone thought, yeah, you know, that'd be a brilliant idea. Disney owns Marvel. They've got all these TV channels, you know, Disney XD you and, and Dis you know, give, give Marvel it's a channel. A but you know what? Warner's... Beat them to the punch. Warner's, Warner's owns DC, and Warner's also owns Cartoon Network. Wouldn't it be a brilliant idea if they gave, like, the DC characters a channel? That's funny you say that, comic book Is man. it? That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little frightened right now. Anyway. That, our top story happens to be what? DC Nation. Comic no! we all live in a the DC best nation, nation of them oh, all. It's the best nation on earth. We'll never go to war in the DC Nation. <laughs> Cartoon Network, DC Comics, and Warner Brothers have announced yes. DC Nation starting in 2012. What is DC Nation? DC Nation will be an entire <laughs> block on the. <laughs> yes, it will. That is correct. It'll be an Aryan DC Nation. Yes. Uh, it will be an entire block of programming on the Cartoon Network devoted to DC characters. And you say, well, they've already got Bar Brave and the Bold. Yes. They've already got Young Justice. Yes. They've already got Ben 10. Uh, what else do they have that DC? Well, they've there? got all the stuff that they dumped over on Boomerang, which doesn't exist anymore because they have these half-assed oh, game show things. And they also have the new Green Lantern cartoon series yeah. that will be coming up pretty soon. It's going to be all of those plus many, many more many. shows. Not only shows on the Cartoon Network, but they will also do cross promotions on the internet. They will have making ofs of their feature films on Cartoon Network exclusively. Very smart move on DC's part. Brilliant. Uh, because of this, the previously announced Brave and the Bold that was originally said they were done making Brave and the Bolds has been Not renewed yeah. for another season, as has Young Justice okay. and Green Lantern, which is, we find out now, a CG animated series. Oh, really? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, produced by Paul Dini. Uh, okay. So we know the quality will be up there. Yeah. All coming to DC Nation in 2012. Cool. Yep. So I'm, I would imagine this is going to be an entire night, probably, on the Cartoon Network. Oh, probably either that or they'll like they'll like have an hour every night. Every or night something, or something. Could be. Like that. You're on the. You're watching the DC this, Nation. This is stuff that Warner should have done years and years exactly. and years ago. And all yeah. this goes back to we something we did in DC News earlier in the year, uh, last year actually, about how DC and Warner's were going to have a lot more synergy going with pushing the characters. <laughs> and they're doing it now. They're doing it now. Uh, next story we got, Liam Neeson. We can't have a video outhouse without mentioning the name of Liam Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson will not be in the next Batman film. No. That's our lead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a non-story if you ever heard one. Well, there's been all this talk about the League of Shadows is going to be in the third film. Yes. Which may, brought up speculation that Liam Neeson would return as Ra's al Ghul in the film. Yes. Liam has said no. Out of all the 20,000 other jobs he has, there's no time to do no. He's not going to be in the film. Um, He's busy with Battleship. Exactly. Uh, also in the Batman <laughs> film. sunk my Batman. He sunk my battleship. Yes, the two hundred million dollar battleship comic book man in three D. But I that, can't does, wait. That, does that preclude the character or just the actor? Uh, that would preclude the character because, from what we understand, uh, Talia is in the film supposedly. Yeah. 
uh, and uh, some other assortment. The League of Shadows. Well, they'll probably mention his name. I'm his sure they'll take yeah. Raj Al Ghul's name will come yeah. up. But I wouldn't be at all surprised if Liam Neeson did show up in a flashback possible. to the first film. It's possible. Or, or if nothing else, a picture on a on a desk or something. <laughs> on a wall. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy Al Ghul. You know, I, I can't wait to see Liam Neeson do. You sunk my bed. <laughs> That line has to be in the film, too. It has to be. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for but that. Batman It'll be in the trailer. You watch. Oh, That'll sure. be in the trailer. Sure. You suck my battleship. <laughs> also, Batman's going to get some new modus operandi, some new methods of transportation in the yes. film, too. Okay, well, so far we've seen a, a motorcycle. Cycle, a car. A car. He's going to have a plane. Oh, great. A plane. plane and a brand new Batmobile. Oh, okay. Brand new Batmobile. Get rid of the Tumbler, huh? Well, this is supposedly some new kind of army vehicle, so it's going to be rather Tumbler-esque, I guess. Skateboard. Okay. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who is one of uh, the uh, Christopher Nolan players, has yes. just signed on the dotted line. There was a big to-do on the internet. He was playing Alberto for Falcone. If I could say that name, it would be great. He's a little young. For well, Alberto. no, the son. What was the oh, son? Oh, okay, okay. The holiday killer. Okay, I know. But then know. that got poo-pooed, and now we just know he's in the film. We well, don't know what he's. Well, playing. once upon a time, he was in the he was in the supposed running to play Riddler. When everyone thought yes, Riddler was going to be in the film. I kind of doubt it at this point. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's not. I'm sure he's doubt not. Also, uh, independent actress darling Juno Temple has been cast as a Gotham City street youth. Street youth. Street youth. Well, that, that might tie into uh, the whole Catwoman thing if they're going to Frank Miller's... That's the rumor. Frank Miller's Batman Year One because Selena ran with Holly a... Holly Robinson. Holly Robinson, street youth. That's the rumor. That's or not official, but that's... Robin. Robin. Uh, well, they could be going into Frank Miller land a, with yeah, some sort of female street, Robin. I don't think so. I, I don't. I don't think that he has any interest in doing Robin in any way, shape, or form. Nolan said during this making of the second film that as long as he was in charge, we'd never see Robin in one of his films, which ain't never going to happen. Never. Good say, call, never. buddy. Never Let's switch gears to Superman. Kind of Superman. Uh, some casting, which 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 they've already sort of announced, but you've got some confirmation. It's been confirmed. Kevin Costner is playing Jonathan Kent in the film, uh, joining Diane Lane as. Ma Kent, but I don't think she'll be called Ma Kent. Well, what about the Dukes of Hazard guy? I thought he was <laughs> Ma Kent. <laughs> no, that's in He's an cheap too. That's in an alternate universe. Oh, okay. That's that's an Earth something. Earth yeah, twelve. Earth Smallville. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Smallville, which has been around for ten years. <laughs> yes. Wistfully. Which deep. is wrapping up. Which is wrapping up. Not a moment too, too soon. soon. Wow. Comic book man. We have a final episode coming up too. Yes, we do. So that's it on the Superman news. Where else do you want to go? Wonder in? Woman. Wonder yes. Woman. As we've as we've reported before on Week in Review, uh, with the Wonder Woman costume, it's a wonderful costume, isn't it? It's Jim Lee's. <laughs> it's it's an amalgamation of a couple of costumes. It's very colorful, it's, which it's, surprises the hell out of me. I thought Jim they Lee's muted. Costume. It, but... It's Jim Lee's. Well, Jim Lee's costume. except costume. except the pants were black in say, his, and they're blue in this. So the color. But we're I mean... breaking hardcore nerd on you right here. The pants are much brighter in the TV series yes, than they yes, are in the comic. Well, the the three colors, the Superman colors of her costume, red, blue yellow yeah. are, are vibrant over. red blue yellow hell her costume on the tv series is more vibrant than the brian singer superman costume was in his movie what, what was it <laughs> what wasn't in that thing so you know, to to digress well the great thing about the brian singer superman movie is you watch the very end as, as superman's flying off into the clouds it's the only time i've ever seen a character fly directly into the sun in shadow and I don't mean behind him, in front of him. He's in shadow, and he's flying directly into the sun, which is the problem with that whole damn movie it's dark. on one level. It's a dark, dark movie. Yeah. And it shouldn't be. Superman is not supposed to be a dark, no. dark character. But but anyway, yeah, but anyway, that I is what it is. Digress. Wonder Woman. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Yes, we have some casting announcements. Uh, Liz Hurley is playing the heavy in the film. She's in the pilot only at this point. Don't know if she's carrying over into the series. You know series. who the heavy is? They're not saying. I mean, is it Cheetah or... They're not saying. Uh... Baroness Von Gunther. <laughs> Wow. That That's sounds, a Wonder Woman heavy. fantastic. But uh, no, they're not saying who the heavy is uh, at this stage, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Justin Bruning will be playing Steve Trevor. Okay. He of the ill-fated remake of Knight Rider that NBC did about a couple of oh, years man. ago. Remember, remember the big, big to-do about they that? They pushed that hard, out. and it lasted it, a season, and... And Adios. died. And yes. died. Because yes. nobody gives a damn about a talking car. Steve Unless David Hasselhoff's going to be drunk in it. <laughs> Eating a burger. <laughs> Eating a burger off the, off the block of the car Steve, when it's hot. <laughs> Steve Trevor is... <laughs> in, in this version is Army Vet who now works for the Justice Department. How he can be an Army Vet at the age of, I think, Justin Bruning is like 28. I don't know, but... Uh, We'll see well, he was may, might have been made a vet because they wanted to put him in the Justice Department. Could be. Office. Could be. You'll be much better off here. We're going to drum you out of the service and give you an honorable... Yeah, nothing like a now. desk job, pal. No, I'm sure it won't be a desk job for long. But he gets He'll to hang out with Wonder Woman, so there's nothing wrong with that. That's Steve Trevor's job. Yep. Hang out with Wonder Woman. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, and that's it. We're done. We're finished. We're out of here. We got no more, more DC, DC news. Nothing, no. But you can go to the store's website and check out all the DC comic news and come here and DC, buy DC comics, DC movie news at the store's website. And and where's the store's website at? Where's it at? Uh, it's in Boston right now. Really? Yeah. Must be nice. Yeah. All right. Queen of redundancy here. www.myalternatereality.com. So check out everything that's on the store's website and involves DC Comics, including what we're getting in here at the store. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And it's JR from the DC Nation. Saying, it's a DC world. Bye! <laughs> the Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>